Hi, I'm Cowboy Bootmaker Lisa Sorrell, and as promised, I'm doing a video series on the machines that you need in a cowboy boot shop. So we've talked about the flatbed sewing machine and the post machine, and this week we're going to talk about the American Straight Needle and the Curve Needle. This is an American Straight Needle. I use it to stitch the side seams on cowboy boots. I remember when I first got my job with Jay Griffith, he had a straight needle. He would stitch his side seams on it, and I loved the sound of that machine. Every time he turned it on, I would be over there watching him and longing to get my hands on that machine, but I never got to sew on it. I was really happy when I got my own. I still enjoy sewing on this machine. The reason this machine is called a straight needle is because the leather that we're working with is so heavy that there has to be an awl to punch the hole. So there's a straight awl that comes down and punches the hole and then there's a needle that follows that up and grabs the thread and makes the stitch. The needle is shaped like a tiny little crochet hook. It's just got a hook. It's not the sort of needle with an eye in it. I have my straight needle set up with a flat surface for stitching my side seams. That piece of metal on the right side of the plate is my guide so I get the proper seam allowance. There's actually a plate for an American straight needle that allows you to stitch soles on the straight needle. I highly recommend against this. I've stitched soles on American straight needle. It's no fun and it looks horrible. Either that or I was really bad at it. This is a curved needle. I use this machine to stitch the soles on my cowboy boots. And this machine is a Landis Model E, which means it's super, super old. What it really is, is called the Grumpy Machine, because That's when true. she works on it, no one's allowed to talk to her because she gets so upset. Well, maybe it's called the Grumpy Machine because it is a grumpy machine. Or it makes me grumpy, or something. Curved needles are very temperamental machines and they often have musical preferences. My particular curved needle loves the music of the bluegrass group, the Gibson Brothers. And so we listen to the Gibson Brothers whenever I stitch soles. The last machine was called a straight needle because the needle and the awl were straight. This machine is called a curved needle because the needle and the awl are curved. Here you have a curved awl that comes up from the bottom and punches the hole and then a needle that follows that all down and grabs the thread. Since the awl is coming up from the bottom, that means the work has to be upside down. So when you're stitching on this machine, you're holding the boot upside down. You cannot see where you're going. And there's a blade right here, and that blade is designed to cut a channel in the wet leather so that when you stitch, your stitches will fall down into that channel. And then when you're through, you can close the channel back over the stitches. If you tilt your work at all, then the stitches will fall out of the channel. I'll put the whole face on the front. Okay. So you're not over there judging me? No, I'm busy, Mom. I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I have work to do. Ah, uh, yeah, you're judging me. This has been In the Boot Shop with Lisa Sorrell. See you next week.